there are so many things happening right now, it's insane. Take the Vision Pro, the future of computing. Spatial computing is what they call it. Now, take Sora, it's OpenAI's new AI-generated video. Now take the two and smash them together. What do you get? You get the future of gaming. Now, as someone who works in gaming, working on AAA games, I spend my days building tools and it seems that all of this stuff that we are building is going to swap out the back end for game development. If you think about it, why do we need 3D models? Why do we need rigging? Why do we need all the things that make a game a game? When you could just ask a model, create a scene with a car, and as I move forward, I want the car to be moving forward with me. Now put the camera above the car or even inside the car and have me move around just naturally. And the scene is generated as you're moving forward in the game. Now this can apply to everything, not just um, car games. This can apply to exploring the universe. This can apply to um, going and creating new fantastical stories and worlds and this applies to every type of storytelling in the future. Imagine just explaining a story to your kids and having them see it and make modifications to the characters as you guys are talking and telling the story. It's the future. By far, there's no questions about it. Now the question is, when will it happen? If you asked me um, a few years ago, I would have said probably 10 years later, you know, nowadays it's going to happen faster. It's going, it's the fact that we went from the, you know, everyone's talking about the uh, Will Smith eating spaghetti video till now. That was one year. Think about one year later. We're going to have immersive functionality and we already have the ability to specify how to move different objects within a scene in some of these open source models. So all of this is going to be compounding at once and it's going to create almost a singularity of like content creation. You're going to be able to create anything that your mind can dream up. In fact, you don't even have to give it all the details. Just like when you work with Dolly, you can just ask it to create a scene that has a penguin, you know, and then it'll come up with an interesting scene that has a penguin. Now you can refine it, make it more what is in your head, make it try to get closer to that. But you you could give it a general prompt like create a movie about a dragon. And then it could create the entire movie, the entire story, and it might not be what's in your mind, but maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want some surprises. However, you could also then refine it and you'd have these incredible directors who what their main job is to refine what the model outputs and to create an immersive experience, something that people can go inside of, go in the Apple Vision Pro or whatever the glasses are at the time and you're going to be able to navigate worlds that were created by other people but also you can have your own spin on it. So imagine flying through a dragon's uh, den and some director has created this perfect, beautiful experience, except now you want to make your touch to it. So now you say, well, actually, can you make the dragon bigger or can you make uh, the characters fall in love or can you just, or even just ask for a surprise. Can you do something unexpected based on my life that I might enjoy? You know, all of that and then you're going to be able to interact with the characters. Imagine you're going and waving at someone and they're like, oh hey, waving back at you. You have a whole dialogue about, you know, the, the future of technology or the, like, where dragons came from and now, 
you have this whole interactive experience that is happening and being built right in front of you. Maybe it was originally designed by someone else, but your, in, your interactions are modifying how it's actually shaping, how the game is actually shaping. And then your life experience comes into play where you might actually be able to have um, some history that then is represented in the game as a lesson and you actually can conquer a, you know, one of your own fears potentially. Now this is going to keep compounding on itself until you know, potentially with Neuralink you're going to have these insane simulated worlds that actually feel almost real and then eventually what if you end up forgetting that you're in the game and then you you know have some type of Alan Watts type of thing where you're living the life that you're living right now that goes really into the you know abstract but the idea is there and it's happening right now so we all better get prepared and yeah I mean gaming industry um, movie industry everything is going to be disrupted and yes from this one Sora model where you can see that this AI is being able to generate frames that look identical to reality from that we can extrapolate all of this because all it takes is for it to happen faster and more accurately and have some representation of the objects within the scene and then you can throw out all of the things that we have done in gaming, all of the things that have happened in movies. It's, it's all going to be adopted so quickly that we're going to have to re-establish the bounds of what we consider work and how we consider ourselves within this system of creation. And it's a scary yet very exciting future that we're heading toward and it's going way faster than anyone could have predicted so keep your curiosity alive